Hey guys, Brandon Wollum with CCM Magazine, hanging out here in the CCM Cafe today with our buddy Jason Crabb. How you doing, man? Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's good to be with you. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a little bit since you've been back. You got a new song and also something different uh, from the last time. Yeah. Something you've been working on for a long time. I'm seeing you on some uh, CCM Christian radio stations. Mm, it's getting good. It's cooking. Hallelujah. Been, been, been stirring this pot for a minute. <laughs> A few minutes. Yes, man. So uh, what, what makes this single different than all the other ones you put out over the years? And what, what's making some programmers look at this one and say, maybe it's time to put Jason Crabb on uh, these type of radio stations and not just Southern Gospel? I think I think in, in everybody else's defense is that, you know, they just wanted to know that we were, we were in and figure out who we were. And um, we tried to present that story, but... You know, we was, I guess, having a hard time convincing everyone. And finally, you know, Jay being with Red Street Records, I love them so very much. And Jay came to me and said, hey, what do you want to do? What kind of music you want to make? I said, this. And he goes, then go all in. And that was the ticket. That was the key. And so he gave some incredible advice, advice that I needed to hear for a while. And... Uh, and he had the backing to go do it. And <laughs> so, you know, we was, he was at Momentum not too long ago, played the new video, and he said, hey, everything you know about Jason Crabb, let's scratch that. You know, uh, far as stylistic-wise, he said, why don't you give him a shot? And boy, did, I'm telling you what, that was a wonderful endorsement by a friend, but he also had something to back it up. We, we've been writing for yeah. this. We went after it. We, we did the, the music that fit the part and so uh, I'm thankful. Nice. Something else you've been doing a little more here lately. I keep seeing your picture on the Grand Old Opry sign every time I drive by. You've, you've played it several times but I feel like you're recently I see your picture up there every like three or four weeks. Yeah. You know what what I love about the Opry uh, and I love about this town it's full of diverse music. Um, the Opry has done an incredible job of, of making that happen. Now their core is for sure country music. But they they invite family members, you know what I'm saying? Like even cousins, and you know they come on in, you know. And uh, that's what it feels like when you go to the Opry. It feels like you're with family. Everybody there is so kind. Uh, honestly, I think they receive uh, Christian music about as good as any place I've ever played and been. And so. I love the Grand Ole Opry. It's my home, whether they claim it or not. <laughs> when you go to those shows, how's uh, song selection there compared to other shows? Because you go in there, you only get two or three songs. You're playing with a crowd that may not be all, all Christians. Yeah. How do, you, how do you pick those songs you're going to play? Well, you know, that's neat. I'm glad you asked that question because you have to really think about that. 30 years of being out on the road, I know that, I, I, that not me, somebody else. Um, you just have to really learn what, where you're at. You play to who you're to. And, um, you know, you want the people to feel you and your heart. And so what we've been doing is borrowing a couple of songs from people, such as, you know, I do I God Bless the USA. And I'll walk in, and that's the first thing that I see because I want them to know that I love my country, I love my veterans, and I love my first responders. And, and those people that are out there in the audience, it's almost like they go, oh, you didn't take 15 minutes to tell me about yourself, but you let this song tell me who you are. And so then you, it's almost like you pull the crowd on the stage. Now they're with you. The best thing to do then is take your new single and go, hey, can I, pick, can I sing a brand new song to you after you've hugged everybody in the yeah. middle? And so that, that's what we do. And, uh, you know, right now they're in the middle of celebrating 90s country. And um, so we did um, the dance uh, the other day. So we, d we did God Bless you know, the USA, then we did Good Morning Mercy, which, man, I could not believe them people loved it. Awesome. And then we did um, the dance and ended the whole concert, the whole oh, opera wow. show. So now you're a headliner at the Grand Old Opera. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> we ended the show with it. And, so it. and you had a special guest on vocals that night too, right? I see the video of you had a, a young kid that helped you with the Dude, that was awesome. Man, he was a little fella. Yeah. He was, he's out there and he had a big, he, matter of fact, his cowboy hat was bigger than he was. <laughs> and you could see that because yeah, yeah. I had to pull his hat up. But, uh, man, he was singing every word. 
and loved it, sitting two seats, you know, from the front. And he was just singing. I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not, but <laughs> I'm going to get down there and let that little fella sing a Garth Brooks song with me. And I thought, boy, Garth would be proud of this young kid. And then I got to pray over the people. At the end of the night, I just prayed over them and prayed God's protection over this, this country. And over, I said, over little cowboys, just like that one, you know. And my wife, she told me after I got home, she goes, that made me more proud than anything. You know, the music and all of it. She goes, you know, that little fella. 